Don't play with a don't be the silence. Ay. Still not understanding this logic. Ay. I'm back and I'm, better. and I'm better. I want you bad as ever. Don't let me. Welcome back to another video to my channel. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and hit the post notification bell. Today's video is gonna be about <clears throat> 10 Netflix suggestions. What are my 10 Netflix suggestions? What is my 10 Netflix suggestions? My first Netflix suggestion is the after party. The after party because it's about um, this artist named Cal. He was wanting to um, come up. And him and his friends was going to parties. Rapping at the parties. So I feel like the after party is a good movie. And I'll give it like a 10. I'm going to rate the movies too by the way. I'm going to give that a 10. Because I really liked it once I seen it. Let's switch to Netflix. I mean, not Netflix. Russ, did you guys lose this game or did the Jazz win this one? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. I mean, not Netflix. To TV shows, too. TV shows suggestions. The last OG. It's about, um... A girl in um his father. Um, his father. It's about the wife and the father. Um, basically like him going to jail because he was busted for selling drugs. So he was busted for doing that, and he came home and he figured out that his girlfriend that he was dating had a whole other life and he did not know that he had kids so um he had um he didn't know he had kids and then he had figured out that he had kids and her um boyfriend didn't know that it was his kids until like season episode five but the the third movie i suggest you guys to watch is the um, hmm. the kissing booth. It's a good movie. It's about um two teenagers um basically born on the same day in California, and rule they had rules like friendship rules, like if someone felt bad they had to go get them an ice cream, stuff like that. Like they had rules. So the the movie was based off of them doing a kissing booth for like their school um, carnival. Yeah, they were doing a kissing booth, and she had fell in love with um with her best friend's um, brother, and that's like rule number nine that you're not supposed to um fall in love with your um people's like their family. And she had did it when she was not supposed to. And she was doing, um, she was doing all types of things. Like, they were kissing, dating. It was, like, so many rules that she was breaking in their friendship. And then, when the brother had figured out, they hadn't became not friends anymore. Until, like, the last part of the movie, when they did become friends. So, um, another movie is, um, Six Years Later. I haven't seen that movie in a while, but it is a good movie. It's about a girl and her boyfriend. They were dating for six years. And then they kept getting into arguments and stuff like that. So then they had broke up. Um, what else? 
What else is a good movie? Will to Love is a good movie. It's about um, their parents were, um, well, his dad was dying and he had to, um, what was it? What did he have to do? He had to get married to someone to have his dad's inheritance. I think that's what it's called. Hi. Okay. I don't know. I'm not for sure. But, yeah, to have, like, the stuff passed down from his dad to him, like, to own his, um, store that he had. So, he had to find a girl to marry. And it turns out to be that he had to find the right girl to marry. So, after he found the right girl to marry, um, his best friend... That was working with him had had feelings for him, and then she had um they had broke up because I guess she did research on the girl and all she wanted was his money and stuff like that. So they had broke up. And another movie, let's see, what's another good movie? Let's see. Cause I have to have ten good movies. So let's see. What's a what's a really good movie that I really liked that I watched? Um What is a good movie? Cause I don't really watch Netflix like that, but I watch Netflix all the time, but um let's see. Orange is the New Black. I'm pretty sure everyone has watched that or everyone has heard of it. Um, basically, Orange is the New Black is like a um, TV show with in- inmates, inmates in there. And basically, I feel like the whole show was surrounded by Piper and... I don't really know what that show's about, but that's a good show. Um, it's about Orange is in Black is basically about a girl that struggles to find her way outside of the prison. On my block. What is on my block is basically it's basically like a show based around like a rough time in Los Angeles. I can't. I really cannot believe. I don't know. They they have not came out with a season two. I've been waiting because they Ruby had died at the end of the movie. I mean, not the, what, what am I saying? A movie? The show. Ruby had died. Um, they're from, like, a hood neighborhood. And, yeah, let's see what else. Switched at birth. I watched, I stayed home and watched all of those episodes. Switched at birth is about girls that were switched um like they went to the hospital when they were born so they were switched like the babies were switched by family when they were having their babies like they didn't know which one was theirs so they had got a baby and the other lady had got a baby Pretty Little Liars. 
Huh. It's about a dude named... I don't know if it was a dude or a girl. It was so many people saying that they were A. And it was about these, um... Three girls, I believe. Emily's... Yeah, three girls that was, um, being hunted after, like, um, being, um, what could I say? Instead of saying hunted after, they were getting all types of notes in their lockers and so, so much things was happening to them that they didn't even know who the person was, who was A, and who the other person was. And A was basically wearing a red jacket. And there were so many things was happening to them. And at school, they were getting in trouble, stuff like that. Let's see, what other shows? Napoli Ever After. That's that's a Netflix original. It's about this one girl. Um, it's how do I keep saying up? Uh, it's about one this one girl and she was she was planning on getting married and at her um, birthday she thought her boyfriend was gonna propose. But it turns out to be her boyfriend just gave her a dog. And when he gave her the dog, she thought it was a ring. Well, she, she, it was, she had like this look on her face like that she didn't like the gift. She didn't even want a dog. She wanted a ring. She thought that her boyfriend was proposing um, to um, her on her birthday party. And it turns out to be that he was not. And... She she met this one dude and they were just becoming friends and she she went to the hair salon to get her hair done and the little girl had gave her some shampoo and stuff like that but it turns out to be the shampoo was making her hair fall out so while it was making her hair fall out she was screaming and basically half of her hair was gone so she started wearing wigs when she was going out and then when she decided to go to like um clubs and like that and it was raining her hair got all soaking wet and she had got home and figured out that her hair was in a poof so she had um she had shaved off all of her hair and that's why they call it Napoli Ever After. Make sure you guys subscribe, like this video, and comment and hit the post notification bell. So you can get notifications when I upload. And more things are coming. Um, I'm planning out a prank, but I don't know when I'm going to publish it. But I do have a prank. I just have not uploaded it. But stay tuned for more videos. Peace.